since the cabinet of Dr. Caligari have critics been so enthusiastic. Never before have audiences been so terrified. Never again will you experience a tale of terror to compare with the horror chamber of Dr. Faustus. Here is a strange and fascinating motion picture that the London Observer compared with the ghastly elegance that often suggests Tennessee Williams in one of his more abnormal moods. A mature horror film that the Paris critics called worthy of the great horror classics of our time. Starring Pierre Brazer as the depraved scientist who used beautiful women in the most frightening way imaginable. Alida Valley as the accomplice who procured the young girls he needed so desperately. Juliette Magnel as the innocent victim of a madman's perversity. The horror chamber of Dr. Faustus. A motion picture as fascinating as it is fantastic, as unusual as it is shocking, as frightening as anything you will ever see on a motion picture screen. <laughs> the exotic geisha houses of Tokyo to the back alleys of the Ginza Strip comes the terrifying news of a fiendish creature that threatens to destroy all who stand in his way. This is the frightening story of an American reporter in Tokyo who unwittingly became the victim of a shocking scientific experiment that turned him into a horrible mutant, half man, half monster, the Manster. Got away. I think I know where he's going, to Taurus. Follow me. Right. There's panic in the streets as the unheard of terror of a half-man, half-monster runs wild through the city. There he goes! Don't miss The Manster, a genuine thriller in the most frightening sense of the word.